Thank you, Mr. President. I take the floor to exercise India's right of reply in response to Pakistan's defense of terrorism. It is extraordinary that the state which protected Osama bin Laden and sheltered Mullah Omar should have the gumption to play the victim. By now, all Pakistan's neighbors are painfully familiar with these tactics of creating narratives based on distortions, deception, and deceit. This August assembly and the world beyond know that efforts at creating alternative facts do not change reality. Mr. President, in its short history, Pakistan has become a geography synonymous with terror. The quest for a land of pure has actually produced the land of pure terror. Pakistan is now terroristan, with a flourishing industry producing and exporting global terrorism. Its current state can be gauged from the fact that Hafiz Mohammed Saeed, a leader of the United Nations designated terrorist organization, lashkar e taiba is now sought to be legitimized as a leader of a political party. This is a country whose counter-terrorism policy is to mainstream and upstream terrorists by either providing safe havens to global terror leaders in its military towns or protecting them with political careers. None of this can justify Pakistan's avaricious efforts to covet the territories of its neighbors. In so far as India is concerned, Pakistan must understand that the state of Jammu and Kashmir is and will always remain an integral part of India. However much it scales up cross-border terrorism, it will never succeed in undermining India's territorial integrity. Mr. President, we also heard Pakistan complain about the consequences of its support of its supposed counter-terrorism efforts. Having diverted billions of dollars in international military and development aid towards creating a dangerous infrastructure of terror on its own territory, Pakistan is now speaking of the high cost of its terror industry. The polluter, in this case, is paying the price. Mr. President, even as terrorists thrive in Pakistan and roam its streets with impunity, we have heard a lecture about the protection of human rights in India. The world does not need lessons on democracy and human rights from a country whose situation is charitably described as a failed state. Mr. President, Terroristan is in fact a territory whose contribution to the globalization of terror is unparalleled. Pakistan can only be counseled to abandon a destructive worldview that has caused grief to the entire world if it could be persuaded to demonstrate any commitment to civilization, order, and to peace, it may still find some acceptance in the Committee of Nations. I thank you, Mr. President.